Hey guys and welcome back to G's Autos. Thank you so much for tuning in. I've just got a quick video here guys, just in case you do have a, uh, a lock seatbelt that won't unwind. Um, there's a little locking mechanism in there that um, can sometimes cause the seatbelt to lock, especially uh, in my case where I've had um, some spare seatbelts sitting in, uh, in my parts bin and I've gone to bring them out and put them onto a project and what's happened is the reel has gone too far in and basically once it goes too far in it locks and you can't get it out. So this is just an example of one seat belt but um, there's lots of other designs and, and um, seat belts out there for different vehicles which may have a different locking mechanism. But um, hopefully someone might find this useful if you're doing the same kind of thing. Anyway guys enough out of me. I uh, hope you liked the video. If you enjoy it, if it's helpful, give it a thumbs up. And um, I'll see you guys on the next one. Alright, so I've got this seat belt here. Now, this just will not release. It just I can't get any more length out of it. It starts to move and then just then just locks up. So it's because I've taken it out of the car and I've had it sitting around for a while. Uh, so it just what happens is this goes in too far and then won't release back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the, the outside cover off this and uh, going to release the locking mechanism so that I can wind that, um, that belt back out and set it up in the car. So I'm going to show you, look, these the seatbelts will differ between cars and designs and things. This one has just got some little um, some little pins in there that you knock you knock out once you remove this cover here. So we'll work through that now, and I'll show you what I'm babbling about. All right, I have um, just opened up that cover. Now it was it was as simple as just getting a um, a screwdriver over where it uh, closes up to here. Get the screwdriver underneath it and pop it open. So what I'm going to do now is on the inside here. See if I can get you in a good spot. There's three little pins in here. I'll put a photo up on the screen shortly just to show you what I mean. There's three of these, one there, one there, and another one down in there. Now inside here is just three tiny little pins. Um, I'll, I'll pop them out and I'll show you what, what they look like. And all I'm going to do is just use a little sharp pointer tool, which I'll grab now and we'll pop them out. All right, now that I've removed that, uh, that cover and I've taken those uh, three pins out, uh, I can now take this cover off. And there you go, there's the, the mechanism inside. Now this will come completely off, which I'll do shortly. Um, and there's the locking mechanism right there. So here it is, just here. Now it does sit in a particular way, so don't dismantle this if you don't have to, and keep it all intact. Look, the designs of these things differ from belt to belt. Here's a different one. This was taken from a front seat belt. So that ball bearing isn't sitting in the right spot. 
uh, that just locks into place. So just be conscious of this when you're pulling it apart. Just be nice and gentle. Take your time because you don't want something flying off out of it and not knowing how it was sitting in there. So what I'm going to do now, now that this is released, I can just pull this out of the way and then I can wind the seat belt out. And then once I've done that, usually I just take a clamp like this and clamp enough of the length out of the uh, reel so that way uh, it doesn't wind back in and everything is all good. Plus I'm going to wind this completely out and uh, soak the steering belt, uh, the, yeah, the, the, the seat belt, sorry, and uh, get it all nice and clean. So anyway, guys, I hope you found that useful. Um, look, this isn't something, like I said, this isn't something you should be doing. Um, this is just me, just showing you in case you were curious um, of how it's done. This is a, a safety um, part of your car, so just don't go dabbling if you're not, if you're not confident, um, or just don't do it, period, and get a new seatbelt. All right, guys, thanks for watching.